What's going on guys? My name's Theoatrix and today I wanted to show you guys some of the best mobile training methods for old school. For those that have played mobile, you'd know that it's kind of hard to click on some things on such a small screen. So these methods are decently AFK, don't require fast precise clicking and they're semi low effort. As well as that, you won't die when you're doing these methods because they're all safe. On the screen, I have the guide outlined and at the end, I'll go through all of the methods that I'm showing and I'll be going into a little bit of depth about each of these methods and then at the end, I'll give a big overview of all of the methods. Starting off with the AFK skills that work very well on mobile using tap to drop. I won't go into a lot of depth into these because most of these are no brainers, but things like power mining, power fishing, and power woodcutting, where you're dropping all the items that you get, it's very easy to stay on tap to drop and train with very minimal amount of tapping. With these methods, you could do money makers. Banking is relatively quick as well on mobile, and bank deposit boxes are probably the fastest way to bank. Something I do a lot on mobile is barbecue variant fish, and one full inventory of fish caught translates to about 1000 fishing XP. So with one tap, most of the time I'll get 1000 XP, and tap to drop makes this very easy as well. But something to keep in mind is you can't 3 tick or 2 tick on mobile. It is possible to do, but since mistapping is so common, it doesn't work very well. Mining at the motherload mine is a great low level skilling method that's decently AFK and doesn't require much focus at all. Also things like woodcutting and dropping teaks will work, but again, Again, 2 ticking or 1.5 ticking, which is possible with teaks, is a lot more difficult on mobile. The next category of methods is farm runs, and the three main ones that are worth doing are tree runs, fruit tree runs, and herb runs. Regular tree runs are an expensive way to train your farming, but are very fast. Fruit tree runs are quite a bit cheaper than regular tree runs, but the wait time on them growing is a little bit longer, so you can't do as many runs per day. Herb runs, on the other hand, should only be done for profit. It's a good idea to check a profit calculator when it comes to herb farming, because it can be hard to calculate your profit per run with all the different prices of seeds, compost, and the price of herb. So I've put a link to a calculator that you can use in the description below. Going back to trees and fruit tree runs, in the past I've made a fruit tree running guide and in that video I created an outline of fruit tree and regular tree runs. If you want to use this, I'd suggest screenshotting it right now. With the addition of Fossil Island, you can now plant mahoganies and other trees and they can really extend the XP that you get per farm run. One thing you really need to set up if you're planning to do farming on mobile is a bank tab with all of your farming items. You can use the tool Leprechaun to store all of your tools and compost, so in your bank you'll need all the teleport to the patches, the seeds, or saplings if you're doing tree run. At this point in time, toad flax is the most profitable, and each run that you do with ultra compost will earn you over 100k in profit. Each run takes around 5 to 6 minutes to do, and getting 100k in 5 to 6 minutes calculates to be over 1 million GP per hour. Per run, you'll only get 1,000 to 2,000 farming XP, which obviously isn't much, but if you don't have access to any money makers that are over 1 mil per hour, doing these farm runs is very worth it. As well as that, for Iron Men, farm runs are very important and completing them every 90 minutes will bring in a consistent amount of herbs. So on the screen is the average time that it takes for these crops to be finished. As I mentioned earlier, fruit trees take a lot longer, but they are a cheaper option. The next methods I'd like to talk about are using the withdraw all function at banks. When you're banking items on old school mobile, if you press quantity all, that locks in until you change it again or log out. So this removes the need for right clicking. You only have to tap on the bank and then tap on the item you need to withdraw and then close the bank and proceed to skill. This works on a range of different skilling methods. A notable one is cooking at the rogues den or just cooking in general. Cooking in itself is very, very AFK, so it's something suitable to do on old school mobile. And another one is crafting. Crafting dehyde bodies works pretty well, but crafting gems is decently AFK and can be utilized with withdraw all. When you deposit items back into your bank, if your quantity is selected on all, they'll all be deposited as well when you're putting stuff in. So that means if you get crushed gems or different types of items in whatever skilling method you're doing, it'll still deposit all with just one single tap. This kind of thing can be done with so many skills. Another example is smithing with darts, but some Something that works with darts and herb lore as well is using noted stuff on the bank in order to unnote a full inventory. Making tars with herb lore is an AFK way to train, and with a few taps, one full inventory will get you up to 800 to 900 herb lore XP, which if you only have access to your phone every 30 or 40 seconds, it makes it a decently low effort and relatively cheap way to train your herb lore. 
Another skill set that is suitable for mobile is thieving. The master farmer can be done for massive amounts of profit per hour at higher thieving levels. And also, RD Knights works very well after you change your settings and make sure you don't attack the RD Knight. RD Knights are especially good because you can easily just leave your phone flat on the table or wherever you're sitting and just keep tapping on the same place on the screen. Obviously, with the coin pouch, you can't sit here forever, but it literally requires no attention or looking at the screen. The next ones are some AFK combat methods. And first is the Nightmare Zone, which is very, very easy to set up on mobile and can be done AFK for hours with a full inventory of absorption potions. The XP rates here are very high since you have access to power-ups and overloads, and some of the bosses also give a little bit more XP. These are all the bosses that give more XP per damage hit you do, and I'm not entirely sure why that happens, but in terms of XP per hour, it's worth putting these guys on over other bosses where you'd get regular XP rates. Some of these guys have higher defense, but the extra XP adds up. Another place you can train is at Bandits, and these are really easy to set up as well with a Saradomen or Zamorak item, and you can unnote prayer potions or food at the tent nearby. Splashing is another one that can be done on mobile with very low effort. If you only have time to tap once every 20 minutes or so, you can very easily just log into your account, click on something to splash, and then just leave your phone. You'll splash for 20 minutes until you stop attacking, and then you'll log out some minutes after that. So if you come back every 20 minutes and move your camera around a bit, you can train magic very slowly but with very low effort. I calculated the cost of getting 99 magic solely through splashing with each of the fire spells, and getting to 99 with fire strike is quite cheap, but as you can tell, the XP rates are horrendous. I also worked out the time that it would take to get to level 99. With things like Fire Wave and Fire Surge, it's not so bad, but Fire Strike and Fire Bolt still will take a while. Splashing is best off for low level accounts, or for people that spend a lot of time AFK. The final method I want to go over is birdhouse runs, and I recently unlocked these on my ultimate Iron Man, and these give passive hunter experience. One full run takes around 5 minutes to do, and you can profit quite a bit of money, or if you're an Iron Man, you can get a lot of seeds and bird nests. At lower hunter levels, you can't expect to get many nests per run, but once you reach things like the magic or redwood birdhouses, you usually get over 10 nests per run. Also, the XP that you get is scaled to what type of birdhouse you use. Use. Using the regular birdhouses with regular logs gives you 280 XP per birdhouse, and then using redwood gives you 1.2k XP. There's four possible locations that you can place birdhouses, and having the dig site pendant will make these runs very, very quick, and they can be done every 50 minutes. You also need a high crafting level if you're an Iron Man, and if hunters a skill that you just really don't like doing, using birdhouses mixed in with your farm runs is a great way to passively train it and level it up. So now, a quick overview of everything. I firstly spoke about the AFK skills, which you can utilize mainly using the tap to drop function. Banking works as well, since you can easily just tap to bank all, but the downside is you can't three tick, two tick, or 1.5 tick on mobile, since you'll misclick quite a bit. Farm runs are something you should definitely be doing on mobile. Fruit tree runs have the longest wait time, and herb runs can be done for good profit at a low requirement. Using the withdraw all function at the bank, there's a lot of skilling methods that become Come almost quicker than doing on PC. Things like fletching or cutting gems can be done very low effort on mobile without the need to right click on anything. Then I spoke about some thieving methods and due to the nature of thieving if you trap a monster you can just sit there AFK and not even look at the screen for quite some time. Then I spoke about some AFK methods and I'd recommend the Nightmare Zone for the fastest XP or Bandits for those people that want to spend a little bit less money and then Birdhouse runs for passive hunter experience. I hope you guys learned something today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to join the Theoatrix community, head over to forums.theoatrix.net. Or if you'd like to view all of my guides and calculators, head over to just theoatrix.net. If you know of any other really good methods that work on mobile, leave them in the comments and I'll pin the best one that I can find. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.